You see, you were probably expecting some sort of overdramatic reaction from me, given the fact that I am a huge Patriots fan, and that I was hoping ever so desperately for Heavenly Seven. Well, I hate to break it to you guys, but I don't really give enough of a shit to really provide a Hulk smash-like kind of reaction, or a Rage Maniac 99, or a Kamikaze Rage like kind of reaction because for starters do you really think seeing anger from me is really all that special anymore given the fact that i've seen jimmy johnson lose 95 races in a row no win ever since 2017 ever since i saw him win that race in person for starters furthermore the boston bruins Losing one game away from the Stanley Cup title. It's not special anymore. You can't really expect a overdramatic reaction from me when... It, it I have been seeing more losses than wins ever since basically the start of 2018, no less. Not even just... After, not even just during two, 2017 when Jimmy Johnson started to slump. Ever since 2018 started, my, my disappointment has become my main thing. Actually, long even before 2017 ended, disappointment has been my main thing regarding Jeff Gordon in 2014. So, why would you want to see a overdramatic rage from a diehard Patriots fan when you know damn well there's a lot other and I mean a lot other athletes and teams that he is so used to flopping ever so excessively and undeservingly so I am not going to go in depth about why the Patriots lost or why they why their loss was supposedly undeserving or what have you, because because it has be become it has become so ubiquitous, so refined that it became it became mundane. So why would you really want to think that it's so special to see a Patriots fan supposedly salty when there is no salt for me to? provide to you with this video when he is so so used to disappointment all the time i know it may seem very jarring to you that a patriots fan is uh used to disappointment but i have news flash there's more to there's like way more to them than just the nfl i mean did you not see the choke the choking from the bruins or how just unfathomably bad the Celtics lost. Or or how long Jimmy Johnson hasn't even been in victory lane, let alone miss the playoffs. I mean, it's not really disappoint I'm Patriots fans, depending on who they are a fan of outside of NFL, NHL, MLB, NBA isn't they're not really we're not really strangers to disappointment. Quite frankly, we were never strangers to disappointment to begin with as we've had losses, heartbreaking losses all the time. So, it's not really much of a big deal of anything. Furthermore, it's kind of a waste of time to go on video after video about an undeserving loss for Patriots. Especially when there are much bigger elephants in my room than just the Patriots losing. Whether it be the fact that we are inexorably headed towards eternal oblivion and that uh, we should uh, find the cure for aging or at least an AI afterlife corporations that have been fucking a lot of people over the fact that nascar is still rapidly deteriorating 
for the fact that Star Wars fans have been tarnishing the joy and pleasure of being a part of a Star Wars fan base, making up a bullshit about the lore that never existed to begin with. And all of that. You can't really have a diehard Patriots fan who is who who is a lot smarter than to be distracted from a loss when there are far far more bigger and far more massive elephants in the room than just the Patriots failing to make it to their heavenly seven. Because there are so many elephants in the room that this one is just so petty, so trivial to even think about within the next day. As it turns out, I'm not going to remember the, the Patriots losing in T-minus six hours. So, yeah. I have already forgotten it. So, you already know that I'm already... Uh, you so used to disappointment. So used to all this excessive nonsense that ha tends to happen ever so ubiquitously. So... What you're seeing is all you're going to get from my reaction to the Patriots losing. So, bye and space out and stay tuned for more videos.